Hey, what's going on y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're gonna be performing our own mocap using the Sony Mocopi and then importing it in Unreal Engine for Fortnite and put it inside my Fortnite map. Let's go. So that said, the first thing we're going to do here is set up our Sony Mocopi devices and phone. So I have it on the right side right here. I'm just gonna say start the motion capture. Check all the sensors are turned on. So we will hold the button until they're all blinking and then connect the sensors. Okay, all the sensors are connected. So what we'll do now is just we're going to install the Sony Mokopi sensors on our straps. And this one is the left ankle. And we have our hip. Not gonna lie to you. My hips don't lie. Now I'm wearing a belt with my shorts so that you know it doesn't move around. You want it as stable as possible whenever you're doing this. Now we will calibrate for the height I'm going to choose the shortest one, calibrating, stand still, and then wait for the beep. All right, here we go. It's one step forward. All right. All right, looks like our Makopi is now moving around, which is perfect. Now, in an Unreal Engine, we're going to need a couple of things here. First things first, you are going to need the Makopi skeleton for this. I'll put the link in the description below where you can download it. And I just created a new folder with the FBX already in here. Now, this is my actual project for my map okay as you can see here i'm over 102 percent that's okay i'm gonna fix that later i will drag and drop it in here if you want to reset to default that's fine as well and in the skeleton i'll make sure that there is none and then i'm just going to click on import all and now i'm going to hold control and scroll with my mouse so you can see a little bit better here because i know my camera is on the left we have the skeletal mesh and the skeleton right here boom and we have the skeleton. This is the Mokopi one. All right, so that's good to go. Now, the next thing I'm going to get is the IP address of my computer. So I'm going to go to command prompt and I'm just going to type in here IP config. What you need is this your IPv4 address right here, 192.168.1.5. Now I'm going to go to my phone settings and make sure that this is the same exact IP right here, which it is. And also make sure that this is not in the recording mode, that this is in motion. So if I press OK here, if I swap over to motion, you will see this little signal icon. That's what you want. All right, so now that we have everything set up, looks like I'm actually performing the motion. I will go back to UEFN now. Now, it's always a good idea to record your mocap in a blank scene, all right? Because obviously, if your computer is really slow, you don't... You know, you don't want to take away FPS from the actual recording itself. So I usually start on a blank slate and then I'll just transfer the mocap uh, files later on. All right, so now what we're going to do is right click that skeletal mesh and we're going to say create and IK rig and it's going to create an IK rig right here. Double click that. And in here, since we're using Unreal Engine 5.5 in Unreal Engine for Fortnite, it comes with auto retargeter, which is sick and auto rig. And here I'm going to say auto create retarget chains. And I'm also going to create an IK rig. So that's good. I'll save it here and close this out because now that is good to go. All right. So now that we have that IK rig created, I will drag and drop our skeletal mesh into the scene and then call our live link hub. So I'll go to tools, live link hub. It's going to launch the live link hub and it should be right here. And on my phone, I will click the little icon, the green icon at the bottom, so that we're now going to send signal from my phone to Live Link Hub. I'll click on Add Source, Mokopi Live Link, Create Mokopi Source. And now if I click on this, this should start actually sending data. So you can see right here, Mokopi Skeleton, which is good. A couple of things we're going to change here. I'm going to click on a 24 FPS. I'm going to go to 60. Additionally, I'm going to enable timecode source so that whenever we're making changes in Live Link Hub, it's also changing in the take recorder, which I'm about to show you in a second. So for now, I'm going to minimize this and we're going to click on the skeletal mesh right here on our scene. And we're going to add a component called performer or pretty much Live Link animation. And under the subject name, we're going to select the Mokopi skeleton. And as you can see, I am now kind of animating our Mokopi skeleton character. Now, I'm not going to stop here because what I want to do is actually retarget this and record this on a character that I already have because we're not going to be using a skeleton for this. So here's the character that I'm going to be using. 
And instead of just using the auto retargeter, auto IK rig, we're gonna do this kind of manually. So in the skeletal mesh, I will right click and we're gonna create another IK rig for this character. And J the legend is okay. I'll double click the IK rig just to make sure everything is good. And in here, we're gonna be using the auto retarget chain and auto create IK. Now this character is using Unreal Engine 4 mannequin, so it's compatible. It really helps when you're using standard mannequins like UE4, UE5, or MetaHuman. I'll click on auto retarget chains, auto create IK, click save, and we're pretty much done ski right there. I will close this out. So now that we have two IK rigs, one from the Mikopi and one for my character, I will now create an IK retargeter. So I'll go to my content browser once again, go to my Macopi file, and in the IK rig, I will say create IK retargeter. Double click, here we are. And in the details panel, in the target IK rig asset, I will select the J one that we created. All right, so now as you can see, my character went into a T post. The original post was A post, but I'm not gonna use that because it looks kind of wrong right here in the hand. So what I'll do is I will stop that we're gonna edit this retargeting post. Now I'm gonna go to the target, which is my suspicious character right here. And I'm going to select the clavicle all the way, arm, hand, thigh, ball, everything. And now I will say, just auto align what I selected. And as you can see, that looks a lot better than before. So that's very good. I will save this. All right, so now that we have that good to go, I will close this out because that's already set up and good to go. Our character is still kind of moving in here, which is good. But what I will do now is go back to my character and I will drag and drop our skeletal mesh right here. And in the component, in the detail, I will now add a retargeter component, okay? So for the source skeletal mesh, we're going to select the Makopi skeleton. And in the retargeter asset, I'm going to select that IK retargeter that we just created. So now I am driving this character with the Sony Makopi and I'm gonna do some kick. All right, so before I start recording, I'm going to reset my pose by clicking on the wrist left, which is the new feature that I covered here. Perfect, so that's good to go. And finally, what we're gonna be doing here is actually recording our take, which is the fun part. So I will go to the scalability, just make sure this is set to low. We don't wanna take a lot of FPS from our take recorder here, make sure it's working really well, nicely, 160 frames per second if you can. All right, so the next step is we're gonna be recording our animation or our mocap using the take recorder inside UEFN. They just added this, pretty sick. Cinematics, take recorder, and we're going to drag and drop J there. And as you can see here, we're already set a 60 FPS. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna press record here and then play some music in the background so I can attempt to dance to it. Now, this is cringe alert. Close your eyes until the music stops if you don't wanna watch me try to dance, all right? We're freestyling this. I didn't choreograph anything. I'm gonna click on the red button, which is going to record my motion. Three, two, one. And now I'm gonna press play. All right, so the music stop. You can open your eyes back up. So now what we're gonna do is save everything, make sure everything is good to go. Go into file and said save all. We're gonna save everything. And we're going to disconnect the live link because what I wanna do is actually take a look at that take uh, before we do anything else. So here, I will just uncheck this and that's going to disable the live link. And now I'm gonna go to my cinematics takes, today's date. And I'm gonna go to the last one because I did a couple of them because I wasn't really happy with the dance moves. I mean you know, try my best here. All right, so that's pretty much it as far as capturing the motion using the Sony Mikopi. What I'm gonna do now is kind of show this in game and show you how I pretty much implemented this in my newest Fortnite map. Let's go check it out. All right, y'all, so here we are in the first person camera four map. I'm gonna press circle here. I'm on a PlayStation 5 right now. And what I basically decided to do was I put five Easter eggs here on this map. So what I ended up doing was if you collect all five of them, you're going to see that dance that we motion captured using the Sony Mikopi. Now, right now, this is a private version, but hopefully by the time that you all watch this, you can actually check this out live. I'll put the code in the description. All right, so here's the last Easter egg. So once I pick it up, I should teleport 
in front of this guy. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We motion captured our own, if we can call this dance moves, using the Sony Makopi and directly recording it into Unreal Engine for Fortnite. Now this is super powerful, us being able to do this for the price of the Sony Makopi. I think it's like $440 or something like that. It's, it's pretty insane on like the tools that we can have now in our disposal Alright, well that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all learned something new today. And again, I apologize for the cringe dancing. Uh, that said, if y'all want to check out this map, just type in JS Films in Fortnite. And it's called FPS Space Cam Space 4. Alright, till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.